The rockfish has to be punish about the matter created quite a splash in Tennessee. The man who is most responsible for this fact is Dave Bishop, a fisheries biologist who works from the Game and Fish Commission's Knoxville office. He has played nursemaid to the rockfish, young and old, for some time now. Dave, just why do we want the rockfish in Tennessee? Well, for two reasons, really, Anson. First of all, it's a, an unusual game fish that reaches a size uh, of which no other game fish in Tennessee attains. Uh, secondly, we need the fish to control the vast numbers of gizzard shed that we have in the reservoirs in this state. Now, I've heard, I've talked to a lot of people, uh, and I mentioned the rockfish, and they say, you mean the rock bass. Now, we're not talking about the same fish here. No, the rockfish is essentially a saltwater striped bass. Uh, it's famous uh, all along the Atlantic coast for surf casters who catch the fish there and weights up to 75 pounds. Uh, it was originally believed that the fish had to spend part of its time in salt water, but recently, uh, through an accident down in South Carolina, it was found that the fish could live and reproduce and spend its entire life cycle in fresh water. Is the rockfish found pretty much throughout Tennessee yet? Well, we have the rockfish in several of our waters now. We don't have any uh, real significant populations in any of the reservoirs uh, in a fishable manner. We do have a lot of young fish coming on, but uh, for the older fish, we are limited to just a few of the eastern reservoirs primarily. How uh, much do we expect of the rockfish size-wise as a sport fish? Well, the freshwater uh, record for the rockfish set down in Santee Cooper Reservoir in South Carolina is 53 pounds. Uh, presently, our fish are growing faster than the young fish do down there. Whether or not we'll be able to beat this record, uh, we don't know, but uh, we do expect fish that top 30 and 40 pounds. Effective the 1st of January, I believe it is, Dave, there will be a size limitation on the rockfish specifically. They must be at least 15 inches before they can be legally taken from the water. What's the reason for this? Well, since we're trying to establish a new type of fishing, primarily that of a larger game fish, uh, we feel that it's just e uneconomical to have the rockfish taken at a smaller size than 15 inches. And secondly, since we're trying to control the gizzard shad populations, the only way a fish can do this is by feeding on the adult gizzard shad. And the rockfish has to reach a length of 15 inches before it's capable of doing it. Now, this seems to me like, Dave, that it might present some problems for the angler. Uh, the rockfish looks uh, considerably like a fish that we're all familiar with, the white bass or the stripe, as some people call it. How can one go about telling the difference between the two fish? And we have a poster here to help you uh, show us the major differences in these two fish. Well, basically, there are two differences that the fishermen should look for. Uh, first of all is the difference in the body shape of the two fish, and secondly, the pattern of the stripes or lines on the side. Now, if you compare two fish of, of equal length, you would find that the white bass, or stripe as it's called in our waters, is much deeper and shaped similar to a crappie. The rockfish, on the other hand, is a long streamlined shape that doesn't have the hump on the back. You might say he's uh, sort of torpedo shaped. That's right, shaped similar to our largemouth bass. Uh, the line patterns on the side, as we pointed out, we have uh, some fish here taken from one of our eastern reservoirs. This is a rockfish. The stripes, as you can see, are very dark, uh, almost black on the sides. They're extremely prominent. They extend all the way to the tail. They could be broken or unbroken, as the case may be. On this particular fish, they're broken quite a bit above the lateral line. This is a pretty good sized fish, Dave. Uh, about how old is he? Well, this fish will be three years old in April. Three uh, years? It weighs about five and a half pounds, so you can see they do grow rather so rapidly. Pretty good growth rate, yes. Now, uh, the white bass, or stripe as we have here, you can see the lines are, are practically obscure on the sides. They're very faint in comparison to those of the rockfish, and you can also see the difference in the body shape here uh, in comparison to the body width. Now, there's a third fish here, Dave, that we have for display, and I recognize it as being what we call the hybrid. It's sort of a cross between these two. Where did it come from? Well, when we first began, began to work with the, the rockfish, we had some bad luck, and we're not uh, raising the number 
lots of uh, rockfish that we wanted to stock in our reservoirs, so we crossed the rockfish with our stripe. And since they were cousins, it did work out pretty well, and uh, we have a hybrid uh, in the eastern reservoirs now that is reaching weights up to 10 pounds at slightly less than four years of age. Now, there could be some confusion between this fish and uh, both his, uh, quote, parents. How do you tell the difference? Well, this is true. There is uh, uh, a lot of uh, room for confusion here on these two fish, but the hybrid has the dark, heavy lines of the uh, rockfish. The, uh, it has much less of a hump on the back than the stripe does. It uh, has seven stripes on the side like the rockfish, whereas the, the stripe of white bass has about eight to ten. And also, the stripes on the tail of the white bass usually fade out before they get all the way to the tail, whereas on the other two fish, they do not. Now, I'm sure there are some other minor differences in the two fish, and uh, uh, the Game and Fish Commission will be putting out some posters and other educational aids along this line so that uh, we perhaps can eliminate quite a bit of this confusion in the three fish.